Are you a son of liberty? Sons of Liberty tees are made in America. Support liberty, the Constitution, and the Second Amendment. I don't know about you, but I'm the gun-owning, God-fearing American Obama warned you about. Click the link below and buy a Sons of Liberty tee today. Support AMTV and support liberty. Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm Fabian for Liberty. I want to talk about and break down this whole scandal involving Chris Christie and his mafia-like tactics of shutting down the highway in New Jersey. Now, he's saying I have nothing to do with this. I didn't know I was lied to by my staff. Perhaps that's true. We don't know. Um, but if you don't know this story, basically someone on his staff, his key inner circle, his staff, basically orders a, a shutdown of a major highway in uh, New Jersey that happened to be around the town uh, where the town mayor uh, for Fort Lee, New Jersey, didn't endorse Christie in his re-election campaign for governor of New Jersey. So it's basically like a political hit. And let me just kind of bring into the world of politics, especially politics at a state level, if you're uh, not aware if you don't really know how that inner circle works. I ran for public office in 2010. I was a pre-seat captain for the Ron Paul campaign going back to 2007. And I can tell you that these parties, both sides, Republicans and Democrats, are like the mob. They're like the mafia. And there is this hierarchy that if you challenge the hierarchy in any way, if you don't go along with their plan, if you have a different opinion, if you speak out against somebody that's doing something wrong, they will literally character assassinate you. So maybe unlike the mafia, although maybe not, uh, they don't necessarily come right out and kill you or you don't maybe wake up with the, the, the head of a cutoff horse in your, in your bedroom. Uh, but you do wake up to your name being completely smeared or having, you know, your, your town, maybe funds are cut to, to, to money that you were expecting, like Obama has cut federal funds to Texas and a bunch of other states that go, don't go along with his authoritarian uh, plans. But it's political hits. It's political retribution that happens all the time. And let me be crystal clear about the big fat rhino that is uh, Christie. Not that he's uh, not, I'm not saying that because he's fat. I'm saying that he's a fat rhino, meaning that he poses as a faux conservative when he's really a authoritarian progressive that goes along with all of the recklessness. He just does it and has a kind of bravado and candor to him that is sometimes refreshing. But the bottom line is, is that New Jersey's not doing any better. He's not this like conservative icon that the moderate wing of the Republican Party is trying to prop up as a savior for 2016. In fact, he's probably like another Obama, just the rhetoric is different, which is a perfect example how there is absolutely zero difference between the two parties. The only difference, ladies and gentlemen, is the rhetoric. Now, one more quick point I want to make. I remember back in 2007 showing up with some other Ron Paul supporters to some of these Republican uh, establishment events and promoting Ron Paul and the so-called leader of the event calling the police to have the Ron Paul supporters kicked out of the venue. This is how brazen and how hardcore these politicos are. Most of them are criminals, if not full-blown traitors, to the Republic. This political hit that Christie may or may not have ordered should not come as a surprise, really, to anyone. What is a surprise, however, is how Christie becomes a huge scandal in the eyes of the progressive line media when... Every month there's a new scandal on Obama, whether it's Fast and Furious, uh, Benghazi, uh, the IRS scandal, NSA scandal, spying on other foreign you know, world leaders, you name it. It's like every week there's something new or every month there's something new that comes out. Those, of course, get little attention or, you know, you can keep your insurance and then he lies about that. The death panels lied about that. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is these stories Okay, this stuff, these political hits, they go on all the time. But the media uses these stories. And the reason I watch mainstream media is not to get the news, but it's to watch the propaganda that is being fed to the American people. And this is all a big setup in, uh, in setting everything up for 2016. Love to hear what you have to think about it, what you think about all of this. I'm Fabian for Liberty reporting for, again, the leader in alternative media, Alternative Media Television, thanks for watching. I'm out.